Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? Today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right on into our subject. What is our subject for today? Our subject for today is why you shouldn't be afraid to buy a home or a condominium or some type of real estate. You know, the question is, is why you should not be afraid to buy a home. Let me explain something to you. A lot of people, they think that they can't do something because they're afraid, I don't know, probably because of failure. I've been there. I've done that. And I've written some of those checks. And I'm unfortunately having to say that sometimes fear, which is false evidence, appearing real, keeps great people like you and me from succeeding and being the best that we can be. You know, if you're thinking that there's a possibility that you would like to own a home, you have the right to try to buy your own home. A lot of people, they rent for their whole entire lives, which is fine if that's what you want to do. But see, the key to success in a lot of people's minds is they would like to be able to live the American dream. And home ownership is an American dream. I don't care what country you come from. People come to America because they want to own a business or they want to own a home. They want to have a better way of life. But we live in a system today that unfortunately draws people and draws them down and puts a lot of fear, which again is false evidence appearing real. And they think that they can't do things more so than they think they can. A lot of it's got to do with the mentality of people that are around you that are going to tell you that you can't do it. Nobody in our family's ever done it. I mean, you can't do it because I couldn't do it. People are going to try to steal your dream. Don't let anybody steal your dream. If you have the gumption and the want to and the whereabouts to be able to buy a home, you should shoot for the stars. Some people like to live in condominiums, and those are pretty cool, too. They're a home, baby. They're just like living, but you have a little bit less responsibility. You pay a little bit more sometimes, but that's because you have amenities like pools and uh, washroom uh, rooms and things that are a part of it where they take care of the lawns and the yard. But if you're a person who wants to own a condo, that's awesome. If you want to own a home so you can have your own private place where you come home every day to take off and kick off your shoes after a hard day's work, or you want to bring your children up in a better place, sometimes people rent a lot for years and years and years, and I've been guilty of it. I mean, when I, I was a renter for years and years and years. And I remember one time I was renting a condo and I ended up paying over five years, close to $12,000. And that doesn't sound like a lot of money, but that money could have been put towards the mortgage of a home. 12 years. And I rented other apartments and things for years and years and years. And then one day I thought, well, maybe I should try to buy a house. And I did. And what I did was I had to talk to a banking system. Now, you can go to your own private bank. And what are the keys to success when you do this? You can also talk outside sources that can walk you through a process to buy your home. They've got first-time buyers programs. They've got all these different types of programs to help people who want to buy a home. And our subject for today is why you should, you should not be afraid to buy a home. If you're spending close to $1,000 a month on a, a rental piece of a property, you can end up buying a house for about that, if not even a, a little bit more based on you know your interest rate and the escrow and the taxes and things that you need to have to pay when you own a home. But if you think that you would like to try, you need to talk to what they call a loan officer or a loan originator. These are people that can take a look at your credit. They can tell you what you need to work on. They will go ahead and pull your information, look at all the debt that you have, and they can say things where they can help you get out. You know, if you, if you want to buy a home, they can teach you how to get your credit cleaned up. They can tell you some ideas and suggestions on what you should do to 
alleviate some of your debt so that way you can buy a home. Don't be afraid. What's the worst thing they can tell you? That at this time you can't buy a home? Well, you already were right there. You were living in a condo or apartment anyway. You were renting from somebody. So you're not losing anything. But what it does give you is ammunition. So that gives you information so you can figure out, well, I got to go ahead and pay this bill off, this bill off. I need to get my credit score up. And I'm telling you, mortgage, origination, mortgage originators and people who do loans, they want to help you because they have a vested interest. Because if you're able to buy a home, that means they're going to make some money. But see, they're also wanting to make sure that you can live within your means. A lot of times people buy homes they can't afford and then they end up losing those beautiful homes. And you don't want that because then that means you have to give up what you've had, your dream. But if you're looking to buy a home, you need to talk to somebody reputable. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your real estate sales guy and I sell other products too. But the key to success in this regard is to talk to a good realtor, somebody that you can trust, somebody who has you in mind. Because see, as realtors like myself, we don't make any money until you get what you want, which is your own home. And by us working really, really hard and diligent, we can help you get hooked up with the finance companies that can help walk you through the process to at least get you on your way. And I've seen people that at first they weren't able to buy a home because they had some outstanding debt or they had some credit issues. But within less than a year or a year and a half to two years, they were able to turn their whole credit life over and be able to have some money for down payment. Because you remember, guys, when you buy a home, there are there is money that you're going to have to put down for closing costs and things like that. So you need to talk to your realtor to walk you through that process. And you want to try to save as, up, as much money as you can to put as far as the down payment. Because if you put down like 20% on your mortgage, you won't have to pay this thing called PMI, which is basically insurance that covers the finance companies in case you falter on your loan. It doesn't benefit you because you got to pay for it, but it does make sure that you're able to get into the home. So try to put down at least 20% and buy within your means. You may want a $300,000 home, $400,000, $500,000 home, but you need to really think about those things because see, if you go in with you and your significant other, if something were to happen to them, the note would be completely on you. Unless you had some type of mortgage insurance, which gives you insurance to cover the uh, you or your significant other in case one of you were to pass away. So what I'm doing is I'm giving giving you some insight on some things that you need to think about because if you're thinking about buying a home you have that right like my mother said Gary you can do anything you put your mind to and you know my name is Gary Lee Stanley your sales guy I wear a smiley face pen to remind me that I need to smile and be grateful and have a good day every day because if you don't think today's a good day just try missing one and I'm gonna tell you what it ain't a good day you know, our subject for today is why, why you should not be afraid to buy a home. At least look into it. If, like I said, if you're paying close to $1,000 a month and you're paying somebody else's mortgage, I'm literally telling you, you're paying literally thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars not to own something that you deserve. Because I'm going to tell you what, when you have your own place every day, man, it feels so good. You get to get out there and cut the grass. You get to make sure your yard looks real good. You get to go out there and get some beautiful furniture, decorate your home the way you want, and nobody can bother you. And once that dude's paid off, all you got to do is pay the taxes on it. It gives you leverage. A lot of times people will buy, won't buy a home because they think that they can. How do you know? And who cares? What if you can't at that time? What I'm sharing with you is you have the option and the opportunity to be able to buy a home. And my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I'm your real estate sales guy. I'm your sales guy. I'm your flooring sales guy, your insurance sales guy. I am all about selling. And my simple job is to make sure that you know that you, if you want to, have the option to be able to buy what you want. 
Now, again, you may not be able to get that four or $500,000 home based on your income, but at least there are options and places where you can buy a home that will fit within your budget and within your means. And they have starter programs to start people just like you and me to be able to buy our own homes. Just listen, don't let your bad credit or credit in the past cause you a reason not to buy a home because that too can be fixed. You know, if you're out there spending money on things that are frivolous, that you're wasting money on, I'm just saying, if you have a goal, if you want to buy a home or a condo or whatever, you should start budgeting yourself. Start figuring out ways to save money. Sock that money away because eventually you're going to have enough money for a down payment. You're going to have enough money to be able to buy your home, but you have to have that goal. And your first step, guys, is you need to talk to a realtor just like me, <laughs> Gary Lee at Exit Real Estate Gallery. And you also need to let us make sure you talk to the right loan company who can go ahead and ask you significant questions, fill out a basic application, find out where you're at in the buying process. And don't be afraid, fear, false evidence appearing real. Just because you think that you can't doesn't mean you can't forever. Fear. It devastates good people. You don't have to rent from people if you don't want to. And what happens is, is if you have your rent, a lot of times that rent keeps going up and up and up and up. And over the last 10 years here in Jacksonville, Florida, I'm going to tell you what, it used to be very cheap to live here. But like everywhere in America, rates go up, prices go up because people want to get their money, honey. And if you have a chance to buy a home, give yourself a chance because I promise you, it feels so good after a hard day's work, after you done work your hiney off to come home, flip on the TV, chill, relax, have your family come and visit, look at your brand new home, look at your brand new furniture, and just enjoy the ride. But don't forget to live within your means, guys. You don't want to lose that because you spent too much and got your credit all messed up. So just remember, if you get the gift of of home ownership, you're very blessed. Seriously, folks, you can do this. We live in a day and age, it doesn't matter your color, your creed, it doesn't matter your sexuality, it doesn't matter. It's all about you and you paying your bills and working hard and having money coming in to make sure that you keep your mortgage payments up. Don't be afraid because you're going to be renting no matter what. Think about how much money you've already spent this year on your rent. Think about how much money you've spent over the last five or 10, 15 years not to have a home. You know, somebody told me, Gary, if you want to buy a home, you can. And guess what? I paid my home off in less than six years. That's just me. I bought within my means though. And if I want to buy another home, I know that I can, but you have to have a reason for want to home a home. If you have family, or if you just want to have a place to call your own, your own, it's the American dream. I know it sounds corny, but guys, it's really, really true. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. And if I can buy a home and pay it off, you can too. And our so total subject today was why should you not, why should you, why should you be afraid to buy a home? Now you know why. You can talk with a realtor. Let them walk you through the basic process. Ask you some simple questions. Let you get hooked up with a finance company. Let the loan originator walk you through the process. Get your basic information. They will ask for some documentation and stuff like that. And they will give you a pre-approval letter so that way you can start looking within your budget and knowing how much money to spend and what type of home you can afford. And on top of that, they will help you if you're not there yet to help you learn how to rebuild your credit, get yourself back on task. And it's better to know than not to know. All right, so go out there and get your house. Don't be afraid. Do me a favor. Have a wonderful day. And if you want to buy a home, don't let nobody steal your dream. Don't let nobody tell you you can't because you can. All right. Buy the house. All right.